What's going on everybody? My name is Strictly Juice and today I'm going to be showing you how to connect your SteelSeries Arctis Pro Wireless to your PS5 and PC at the same time. I have another video showing you how to do this. The only difference between that two is that I have another product that you can use to make this setup a little bit better, but that setup will still work. Uh, here's the card for it. You could click here to go to that video if you don't want to purchase this. Uh, this is really cheap. It's like 25 bucks. But anyways, let's get on to the video. First things first is to set up the digital audio extractor that you bought from Amazon. It's 25 bucks. Um, it works really well. I'll put the link in the description down below, but it comes with the AC power adapter and you're going to plug that in and plug it into any uh, power strip that you have to power this device. Once you've plugged in the device and it's powered, you're going to see this red light that it's going to be on and you're going to get the HDMI 2.1 cord that came with your PS5 that you plugged into your TV and you're going to plug it into the HDMI in port right here. Next step is to plug in another HDMI 2.1 cable that you could buy from Amazon or you can buy a regular HDMI. I'm not sure if the 4K 60 frames really passes through this box, but you can plug that in into this right here and then the other end into your TV or monitor of choice. Next thing we're gonna set up is our mix amp. And in order to set up our mix amp, we're gonna need the micro USB and the optical in cable. Those look like this. Uh, I'll post a picture of what they look like as well on the screen so you guys can see, but this is what the cables look like. Once you've plugged those in, you're gonna plug the micro USB to USB 2.0 into your PC and that is what's gonna power this headset. Next step is to plug in the digital optical cord that you plugged into the Arctis Pro Wireless uh, mix amp and you're gonna plug it into the JTEC digital audio extractor and you're gonna plug it into this port right here. So now it's connected. Now the devices are connected to the two. The next step is to uh, move the switch on the JTEC box to the 5.1 channel. Next step is to go into your SteelSeries mix amp and you're gonna go to the source and you're gonna change the source to PS4. It should say PS5 in the next update, but that's how you're gonna be able to connect the PS5 and the PC at the same time. Keep it on this setting. Next step is to go on your PC and you're gonna change uh, the sound setting right here to speakers to Arctis Pro Wireless or anything that says Arctis Pro Wireless. Not the chat though, just make sure it either says Arctis Pro Wireless or Arctis Pro Wireless Game. And then what you can do is you can go into your sound control panel and then you can make sure that your playback setting is the Arctis Pro Wireless and make it the, the default device. And you can go into your recording and make sure that the Arctis Pro Wireless microphone, if you're going to use the microphone, if you don't have an external microphone for your PC, you can make that the default device so that it can work as well. The next step is to go onto your PS5 and go to your settings. Once you go to your settings, you're going to go to your sound settings. You're going to make sure uh, your microphone won't work from your SteelSeries Arctis Pro Wireless. That won't work at all because it's not plugged into the PS5. That USB is plugged into the PC. So uh, you're going to either have to get an external mic. I don't know if PS5 does that, but you can get an external mic or something else. This is for people that, you know, really use their PC more than their PS5. They use their PS5 for recording or they just don't want to switch out the audio. Um, go into your sound settings and you're going to go into your audio output devices. You're going to change your uh, device to HDMI device. It shouldn't say AV amplifier yet, but it should say uh, HDMI device TV. And then you're going to change it to uh, right here, HDMI device type, and you're going to change that to AV amplifier. Once you change it to AV amplifier, you're going to change the number of channels to 5.1. And there you go. Your headset should be working between the two. You can test it out um, and that should be it. And that's it. And that's how you connect your SteelSeries Arctis Pro wireless headset to your PS5 and PC. If you guys enjoyed this video and you guys want to see more, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. It really helps me out a lot. It helps me grow. And uh, I have a couple of other gameplays on my channel, a couple other videos that you guys want to check out if you guys are bored, you know, got nothing to do. I'm also giving away two free copies of Spider-Man Miles Morales for the PlayStation 5. Uh, I'll post a link in the description on how to enter that giveaway. And yeah, that's about it. Anyways, guys, I'm following my passion and I hope you guys are too. Peace.